In this lesson, I'm going to go over making our first commit. So we start off with our project folder, our repository, and one file in the project folder. Our file, however, is only in our working directory. It's not yet part of our repository and we're not tracking any changes to it. So our first git command that we can use, which will actually tell us the state of our working directory and of our staging area, is git status. So git status will tell us the state of our working directory and our staging area, and it will let us know if there are any differences between the two. Let's see this in action. We go into the terminal, we type in git status, and we can see it tells us there's no commits yet, but there are untracked files. It also yet tells us to use git add to include in what will be committed, and it shows us our journey.txt file. So our journey.txt file is untracked, it's not yet being version controlled, and it also told us to git add in order to include in what will be committed. So what's this git add command? The git add command copies a file from the working directory into the staging area. So let's see this in action. We type in git add and pass in the name of the file. And what we just saw is on the right hand side, an index file was created and that's actually our staging area. So now if we type in git status, we see that there's still no commits, but now there's changes to be committed and it's telling us we have a new file journey.txt. So what we, what we just saw now was our file was copied from the working directory into the staging area and we saw that a new file was created called index. And index represents the staging area. They are the same thing and those two terms can be used interchangeably. So now, if we're happy with all the files that we have in our staging area, and those are the ones that we want to save in our next version of our project, or in our next commit, then we're ready to make our commit. It's important to note that commit is actually a verb and a noun, so to commit something is to save something, and a commit means a version of our project. So the command to make commit is git commit dash m and then you pass in a message usually making some sort of comment about the changes that you made. So what the git commit command is going to do is it's going to take a snapshot of your staging area and then it's going to assign a hash to the commit it's going to make from that snapshot. And it's also good to know that you don't need all 40 of the characters in that hash. You only need a few of the first ones to refer to your commit, usually about seven. So let's see this in action. We go into the terminal, we type in git commit dash m. We pass in a message. Here I'm saying adding first file. And here we can see the hash, 183d64f. These are the first seven characters of the hash. And if we go into our .git folder, I want to show you the objects folder because that's actually where all our commits are. That's actually what represents the commit history. So what we just did now is we took a snapshot of the staging area and we created our commit, which has the hash 183d64f. So now to overview. In this lesson, we made our first commit, and we used commands such as git status, git add, and git commit. That was it for this lesson. See you at the next one.